huge congratulations in order yeah. because your show, the, the Carmichael Show, has just been picked up for another season <laughs> on NBC. Now, it's based on your, it's based on your family. Based, it's loosely kind of based on real life. Do your family like it? Do they like the show? They like the show. My, my parents, uh, you know, I fly them out sometimes. They, they watch a couple of episodes. They give pointers. Notes. To, uh, notes. Give your notes. To experienced yeah. actors. Yeah. Oh, to the people who are playing oh, the they're like, they're like, you know, they're oh, like, yeah. hey, you know, I'm... I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a bit more like this. They like right. to squeeze in notes. <laughs> and yeah, but no, it, they love it. They, they really do love it. They, it's just such yeah. a great cast. They're it's cautious. So they're people. afraid, yeah. of, they are yeah. afraid now. They, they think everything's going to go into the show. Yeah. They're right. terrified of yeah. saying a yeah. thing and yeah. then messing up. Yeah. And they think I'm going to put it in the show. And of course I'm going to yeah. put it in the show. Of course you <laughs> are. They, who's, who's the funniest person in your family? Are you the funniest person? I'm, I'm OK. I'm, I'm, I get paid the most for being funny. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I may not be the funniest. Yeah. I, uh, my, my, my niece is very funny. Uh, she's, uh, just her complete disregard for her brother is the <laughs> funniest thing. She told me the other, in a, like, perfect deadpan voice, she was like, sometimes I don't even realize I'm ignoring them. Like, just <laughs> perfect. It's like, right. she's great. Yeah, she's much funnier than, yeah, everybody. <laughs> what about you, Ma? Were you always the funniest person in your family? Uh, well, I was the, believe it or not, I was one of the tallest people in my <laughs> My mother could walk under this table with a high hat. <laughs> My mother was little. She was short. She was very short. And, uh, I don't, you know, we, you know, we, we were, you know, a bunch of Jews that lived in a tenement in Brooklyn, and everybody was going to so go... So we. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you were tall Jews. <laughs> And, the biggest difference. You know, and, and, and then my Uncle Joe, who was a cab driver, he was very short, too. When you saw a cab coming down the street without a driver, Joe. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he used to take home the doormen from Broadway. He used to take all the doormen and see bring them back to Brooklyn at night for nothing. Right. Doormen of all the Broadway shows. One of them had two tickets to Anything Goes. I'm told, I was, I was, let's see, the 31, I was nine years old. Uncle Joe takes me to the opening night of Anything Goes with William Gaxton, Victor Moore, and Ethel Merman. I'm sitting in the last, ah, yeah. the last row, the last row of, of the theater, of the Alvin Theater, way, way back, and Ethel Merman was still too loud. <laughs> it was amazing, amazing how loud. But I made up, I said, when I said, I said to my Uncle Joe that night, this is all true. Uncle Joe, I'm not going to the garment center like everybody in that building. I'm not going to be a cutter. I'm not going to be, you know, in, 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 the, in the delivery room. I'm not going to go to the post office with Sam. I'm going into show business. I was nine years old. What about that?